Yep. Okay, so we're recording this so that this can go up online so you guys can use it to review from. And for the people that were unfortunate enough to be absent today during our awesome experiment. So what we are going to do is we're going to be thinking about states of matter. So there's no plasma in this experiment, but we do have solids, liquids, and gases. They are all very important to this experiment. So to start with, we've got to think about what we're starting with. We've got beakers here that are full of water. And I'm telling you that what is in here is a big cooler full of awesome dry ice. So dry ice is carbon dioxide that is negative 119 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is dry ice. Looks really cool. That's why I wear my gloves, because it will actually burn you. Uh, so what form is our dry ice in to start with? Hot. Uh, it's, well, it's not quite hot. It looks like it's hot because it's steaming, but that's actually not, that's a different type of steam. Sean, what form are we in? Solid. This is actually solid carbon dioxide. What form is our water in? Trick question. Yeah. There, is there another form of water in front of us right now? Brian? Vapor. Yeah, there's water vapor. Where is the water vapor? In the air. Which is in the air. So do we have it in the beaker as well? Yeah, we do have water vapor in our beaker as well. So we actually have liquid water, we have solid carbon dioxide, and we have, uh, sorry, and water vapor all in our beaker. So when I add this in, it's going to look pretty cool. So very, very dramatic reaction. So what's going on right now is we actually, there are, we're going to be thinking about the physical changes that are going on. I'll tell you that this smoke that is coming off, it's not actually smoke. It's also just a physical change. This is not a chemical reaction right here that's actually creating this smoke. Does anyone have any idea what this stuff is? And I'll give you a hint. It's not carbon dioxide. What do you think it is? Yeah, it, well, it was water vapor. Now what is it? It's water, but it's not water vapor. Ooh. It's water, but not water vapor. What other things could we possibly have that are water, but not water vapor? I'll also I'll give you one more hint. One more hint. It's the same stuff that makes up clouds. Oh, maybe you just know from before. No? Have you ever thought about what makes up a cloud? What do you think? Yeah, so this water vapor condensed. It condensed because it got so, so cold. This is the same thing that actually creates clouds. Clouds are just little, little, tiny water droplets. So we've created a cloud in a bottle. That's what we've done. Now, what happened to our carbon dioxide? It was in carbon dioxide solid form. What is the carbon dioxide in now? Is it, what do you think? Is it liquid carbon dioxide? That's a good guess, because normally we go from solid to liquid. But I'll tell you, with this case, we don't actually go from solid to liquid. We go from solid to, we go actually directly from solid to gas. That's called sublimation. That's a phase change that goes from solid to gas. So you want me to hold this up? Yep. Can you guys see the bubbles? Right? So those bubbles, that's the carbon dioxide going straight from the solid into the gaseous state. Looks pretty awesome, huh? So this is releasing carbon dioxide gas into the room. It's harmless in small quantities. We're all going to be OK. I'm going to take this outside right afterwards. But you can actually see those carbon dioxide bubbles. Now, a way we could see these bubbles a little better is if I add some soap. So I'm adding some soap to our beaker now. So what do we think is going to happen if I add some more carbon dioxide solid, some frozen carbon dioxide to this? It's going to release bubbles. That is our first hypothesis. Does anyone have a different hypothesis? What do you think? It's going to foam. It's going to foam. Any other hypotheses? Ooh, condensation, the color of the soap. Let's see what happens. I like these. Three different hypotheses for what's going on. Definitely use gloves if you ever are working with this. Dry ice, otherwise known as frozen carbon dioxide. Whoa! That is awesome. So, what's going on right now? That's crazy. 
So what's going on right now is actually the carbon dioxide gas is doing the same thing it was before. It's going, so it is changing from carbon dioxide solid to carbon dioxide gas, and it's trying to escape the water. It's trying to escape just like right here, but instead of escaping the water, what happens is it gets caught on those soap, those